Hi, welcome to a random stitcher. Uh, today I'm going to be stitching on um, a couple of birds. This is a Joy Sunday. I think I got it from FD Normal, but I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't written it and I cannot find anything <laughs> on it. So, yeah, um, it is called Kingfisher, but they are bee eaters. So, um, I was kind of a. I am. I'm arranging my uh, or rearranging my craft room and I was going through my stamp kits and I stumbled upon this one. I have been looking for some new projects to start, some new stamp projects to start because I have a lot of uh, counted at the moment and I I feel like uh, my hands are still not very good so I was looking for some 14 count and this is 16 count so I don't think I ever tried 16 count, so <laughs> it's interesting. Uh, I'm thinking about, um, of doing two strands. I don't know what else to do, <laughs> because I know 18 count, uh, the most, uh, most people are using one strand, and 14 count, two strands, so 16 is in between, um, but I'm thinking two strands. So it is stamped, and I have put it uh in this frame as i said my hands are very annoying at the moment so um i thought maybe it would make it easier on me with a frame so that i'm going to be doing yeah so let us see i must have done an unboxing at some point but yeah. stitching size is uh, 110 by 120 it should be total size 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters. Here is the paper chart. We have 32 colors. Yep. 32 colors. And one for backstitching, which is, uh, which is uh, big, at least I have seen. Uh, and I think it's, oh no, 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 maybe here also the tail, but a big. Uh, the beef beads uh, have kind of a bended beak, so they uh, so they can get in and get the bees. <laughs> so kind of a long and kind of a bended. Uh, know what to, don't know what this called name is, but kind of goes a little bit down and long. So and I can see they have tried to recreate to kind of remake that. <laughs> I don't think they did a very good job, but um, I think I will look at a because I like it to be. <laughs> kind of as accurate as it can be. Uh, I think I'll look at some pictures and maybe do a better line. Let's see, but let's uh, get to it. Yeah. So 16 count. Yep. And I also prepared my note for my logbook. So here are the colors. Today I have written a um, some topics, some things we can talk about. I was thinking about doing the uh, pink symbol here because that is, uh, there's a lot of them, so, but I need my paper chart because all the, um, the legend here is hidden. <laughs> so, let us see what we can do. On this uh, particular um, kit, they have made two kind of legends, one with the uh, symbols on here and one with symbols on the paper chart. So I like that. <laughs> so I can find the pink one that is uh, color 29. 29. Maybe it's a blue one. Yeah, it's a light blue. Let's take out. It's it maybe it's a little bit too big needle. Uh, I have a ton of needle uh, sitting on magnets on my lamp where I'm stitching, and I'm kind of having trouble seeing if they were eleven count or fourteen count needles. So I just yeah try to take that that was the smallest. So let's see if we can get this thing threaded. And if the needle will be annoying to use, I'll just switch. 
find it with a needle. Uh, normally I stream this recording to my, um, I have a TV standing next to me with the Chromecast, but uh, today I couldn't get it to work, so if I'm out of the frame sometimes, I apologize. I think I might, oh, maybe I did it, could get it here. Maybe, 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 yeah, got it here. Good, good. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe you can hear my bird tweeting. <laughs> she is uh, really active today. And yesterday, she um, she had a very quiet day, which was my fault. My fault. I think I need to fix my lamp here. So maybe I need to. Mhm. Mm So I'm thinking of having it here, so I will lock the screen. So I think it's locked now. Okay. So yeah, um, as I said, I have um, I am in the process of rearranging um, my craft room. We moved in here um, <laughs> and bumping into all sorts of things. It's really annoying. So, let's see. <laughs> we moved in here in um, um, the day before Christmas Eve. And, um, and I started pretty quickly with uh, arranging my craft room because it's, it's yeah. I just hate when I can't find anything, so... Um, but I... Um, yeah, I think I just, you know, hurried up and really... Uh, so many things. It's annoying right now. I think I kind of hurried up a little bit too much, maybe. But, um, I don't know. I have just been inspired by <laughs> things I have seen with others, especially my thread, uh, because I am doing a lot of uh, counting at the moment. I I struggle finding the right colors, and I struggle uh, having room for them. And, and I am waiting for a big order of uh, 447 colors. So I need to get room for those also. So. My husband um, will uh, set up some kind of a hooks where I can hang the thread. So I will, right now they are organized in color, by color. So I have all the red uh, in, uh, in one place and I have all the yellows. And that's, uh, that's a system I want to continue. So the way I will do it is uh, <laughs> try to find a hole. The way I'll do it is I will um, um, take some binder rings and put all the reds in a binder ring. Then I will hang the binder ring on uh, one of the hooks that my husband would put up. Um, and yeah, so whenever I need a some red color, I can take the binder off and find a ring off and find see if I have the right color so I think that would be the easiest way to do it uh, it would anyway give me more kind of um, um, the thread will be nicer <laughs> uh, because now they are kind of uh, curled up in some small drawers and uh, if they just hang, they would be nice and straight. So I think that's that could be a good solution. So I am also um, organizing my whips. Yeah, I don't know what's 
come over me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, before all of this, um, with um, yeah, a couple of years ago, anyway, I um, I was more able to be organized. <laughs> so I was very much into all kind of spreadsheets. Uh, I was controlling our e economy like that. Kind of have a budget and i was writing down how much we spend on food and i was really yeah <laughs> i was really having fun with um spreadsheet it's a cup spreadsheet you know from excel i loved i have always loved them <laughs> it gives me some kind of feeling of control which maybe my head is not always Maybe there's a little bit of chaos in my head. So if I can have control with the other things around me, it kind of makes it easier on my head. So I was thinking, I have been all over the place with the, with my cross stitch, my whips, and I really want to um, be a little bit more controlled and uh, have a system kind of. So again, I have been inspired by other uh, flush tubers and a lot of those are having a are using a spreadsheet i think more light hair could be very useful normally i'm sitting raise the goddamn hole yeah maybe i should have this here could this work maybe give me some more light maybe yeah, so they are using uh, a lot of spreadsheets. They are much more complicated spreadsheets and much more than I uh, am able to do and also want to do. Uh, because I don't, I will not set goals and um, milestones and stuff like that. But um, I, I have before had a kind of a spreadsheet uh, where I printed out a new every month and then I kind of just put in a cross um, if I worked on that particular one that day and by the end of the month I could you know sum up okay I have been working on this for those that many days and um, I don't know it just kind of made me feel uh, like I accomplished something <laughs> So yeah, I have been uh, I've uh, done a new spreadsheet, a little bit more uh, advanced than before, because I have put in um, because I'm doing a lot of uh, counted at the moment with Pet and Keeper, and you know the Pet and Keeper will count how much I have stitched every day uh, in total. So um, I have done so that I can put in. every day how many stitches I have done on that particular um, project and it will automatically uh, calculate at the end of the month how uh, how much in total I have stitched so I actually really like that I don't know exactly what I will use it for, except the feeling of uh, kind of a control, and um, and I think I need that at the moment. Kind of a feeling of um, I'm controlling things, and it's not chaos around me. There's an order to things. I think that's very good for my head. So I will talk about. Uh, more about that spreadsheet and also show it in my next flush tube I don't know where that will be <laughs> whenever I feel I have something to show <laughs> but yeah uh, yesterday I purchased a new pattern from the Archie housewife uh, the Archie housewife is the designer of my Byron and I really loved Byron and I love her design. She has so many beautiful designs. So she is um, at Etsy. Just need a little to drink. Um, 
makes this very very cute one and I'll show you that also and show you uh, my, yeah, my my whips what I have put in my spreadsheet <laughs> I think they are around 11 or 12 um, I haven't started them all there are some that are new projects and um, I haven't started them yet but I put them in because I really want to start them in March so I will start that uh, new one from the Arsi Housewife and I have also decided to restart my Heaven and Earth project Mini Beloved which is something my daughter picked when I asked her I think a year ago at that time I was not very experienced into cross stitching and I have never done a big one uh, I have only done smaller ones so I kind of I tried to do it twice uh, the first one was 18 count um, that was just too hard I think I, I felt it was way too small stitches so then I tried 14 count half stitches I didn't like that either uh, at the time I had I felt like I couldn't um, I felt like it was hard for me to see where to put the stitches in because there were only half stitches so I kind of all the time lose my way <laughs> so um, and it ended up I just completely yeah, stopped and used the fabric for something else so I don't have the fabric anymore they're not that many colors because it's very beloved it's a very black gray white uh, project very fantasy which my daughter really loves so that not not that many colors but again I am waiting on those those colors from um, I think it was Timo I ordered it from Mm, 447 and they should all be numbered so really hope that's true <laughs> otherwise I am in trouble but let's see uh, I really could um, I really would love to um, to get that uh, beloved going again see if it if I could manage to uh, to kind of get it done at some point <laughs> it's not like because I have done uh, this spreadsheet and kind of trying to uh, be a little bit more organized it's not like I will hurry up um, and finish stuff uh, not, not at all I will take my time as I have been doing until now and I don't have deadlines and you know goals and milestones no nothing like that it's just fun to see progress I think so. but you know I am a random stitcher so <laughs> I have one opinion until I find another one <laughs> it's not that many days ago I said that um, I'm kind of a one project stitch girl <laughs> And here I am with a spreadsheet and stuff. But um yeah. I was really, really um all over the place before and I feel like it's very stressful for my head to be all over the place with my stitching. I didn't know what to do. Um I couldn't see I don't know, I had trouble, you know, to uh, uh, yeah, I kind of lo lost uh, lost my way in how many uh, projects I had, and I just felt there was projects all over the place, and I didn't know what to do with them, and most of them I didn't feel like doing anymore, and some I couldn't do because of my hands, and. Um, yeah oh. 
is fine that I just like I picked those out that I want to to work on and yeah take it from there if I put in all my whips everything I at one point started not finished yet this spreadsheet I don't know <laughs> 40 <laughs> I don't know it's crazy I have quite a few uh, stamped that I started and um, kind of stopped again because I don't like it don't like the look at it look of it so that's kind of why I picked I wanted a 14 count because I have had some bad experiences with 11 count lately so so yeah I found a 16 count <laughs> okay so um, yeah I have talked about organizing a new pattern oh it's so cute the new pattern I really look forward to showing you um, it's very much like uh, the style of um, Byron but it's just another animal <laughs> it's not a bird it's another animal very cute so. so yesterday I was in crafting group I went over there around 11 o'clock I think and yeah much more quiet <laughs> group this time all of them have had been to some kind of um i don't know event party um some place where there was a band playing and there was uh, uh, they were dancing and it ended i don't know two or three o'clock in the evening so um there was saturday night between Saturday and Sunday so <laughs> some of the ladies that has been attending was uh, um, a little bit quiet so <laughs> uh, probably tired That was nice. Uh, I um, I don't know. I feel like ninety five percent of them are Anita's, so I feel a little bit yeah, odd sitting there stitching. There are two others that are stitching: the, the pillow lady and another one. She's also doing a pillow, but somehow it it kind of doesn't matter because we're not talking very much about crafting which i am a little bit disappointed about <laughs> because i love talking about crafting <laughs> uh, but then they're mostly talking about um our homes because we are all new here and uh, a lot of uh, those we us we have um, some kind of trouble with uh, new houses there are stuff they need to fix and so that is kind of a topic talk a lot about that and it's like it's not as much as a, a crafting group as just a coffee club so yeah if i continue coming i don't know but um let's see you know it, it is a way to uh, kind of meet new people and get to know the people that lives here so yeah i don't have to stay for hours and hours i could just pop in and stay for half an hour if i want and uh, go home again so it's almost next door oh yeah i um i think i need to unwind this Yeah, I have washed the, um, the the blue Ada fabric I struggled with last time when I tried to start my um, Dreaming Girl 
it was so stiff and it, I couldn't use it at all. So I washed it. What's happening here? Just a minute. So I wash it and put it in a tumble dryer, and uh, it really helps. Helped. It's not the softest still, but um, I feel like it's okay, especially when I put it in a in a frame like this. Uh, I also washed. I got some uh, light blue. Ada also. Uh, I think it was uh, meant for the 100 hours pattern I have. And I have stolen it from there. <laughs> because I really want to use it for my little Easter bunny when the, all my new thread floss will arrive. So I washed that also and tumble dried it. And uh, this is very, very soft, really. So. I'm starting to get a little bit cramp in my hand because I can't find the, the holes. There's something blocking here. So. Yeah, my hands are not the best. I get the pain and cramp in them constantly. It's so annoying. Uh, the spring uh, kit I talked about last that um, I couldn't wash or wash the ink off. I um, I decided to uh, kind of um, not do that particular cross stitch. Don't know what I did there. Mm. Uh, so I. Um, Try to see if I could get the ink off, uh, and I use something called vanish. Uh, at first, it was in in water, a couple of days. Then I started to wash it with soap and hot water, and I got s a little bit more off. And finally, I put it in, um, I think, a couple of hours in vanish with very hot water. It's kind of a bleach. So, um, and I got it actually all off. There's a hint of pink, pink pattern on it, uh, print a little bit, but only a hint. So I can, I can use it. No problem with some counted. So that's good. Um, I don't know what I will use it for, but it's so soft. It's the most soft fabric I think I have ever uh used it's 11 count it's so so soft uh, i don't know what it is it's, it's quite kind of thick and very very soft so nice i wish they are all like that so soft and it was soft before i um, i tried to 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 test if the print could get off it was soft before then, so. But uh, I don't think I would risk uh, using bleach on if there was something I had stitched on. It was only because I had to get the print off so I could use the fabric for something else. I wouldn't have done it if there was uh, uh, if I had stitched it. So. I don't know if if. Um, Vanish will remove color from floss. I actually don't know. But I think it could be a risk anyway. <clears throat> I must say, it really takes good eyes to do 16 down. It's not as bad as 18, but it is. Man, small stitches. And I think maybe also my needle is a little bit uh, too big. 
Well, we'll get that. So, a couple of stitches more, and then I'll find a new color. They're so tiny, the holes. Taking up my watch. So, a little bit of light blue. So, what now? How about some of the round yellow ones? They are. Number twelve seven seven five. Uh, yeah, twelve. That's an even lighter blue. It's this one. I did my little blue. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I have a thin needle now. I can see one needle. Is that smaller? Or is it the same? I think it is a little bit smaller, so let me try that instead. Let's see if this is better. Uh, round ones, yeah. You can see some here. I think the garbage truck is outside now. see if we can get back again whoops so I think we are both okay my husband and i after what happened last week but we did have a reaction both of us um i completely had a <laughs> kind of a meltdown was it sun yeah sunday night sunday night we were starting a new series called i think it's called no it's not better this i still can't find the hole uh just a minute. I think it's here. 
So yeah, a new series called Inside Man, I think it was called that. And uh, there was a scene where it uh, kind of takes place in... A, this scene is in a train. And a girl is sitting in the train and a guy is looking at her uh, like disgusting way. <laughs> And he uh, he places himself, he, he gets over to her and, and he, he stands right in front of her and yeah, moves his hips in a very <laughs> disgusting way. And um, he's really kind of threatening. So... Nobody in the train reacts. There's a lot of people in there, but nobody reacts. There's a one girl. She uh, she uh, takes out her phone and kind of films it. And um, <coughs> he noticed that, so he gets over to her and and is really nasty and threatening and. Um, demands to uh, to get her phone so uh, because uh, it's not allowed to film people <laughs> i don't know it's really really and uh, that scene though it ended good because it ended with a woman also filmed him him and uh, he was starting to uh, do the same with her give me your phone and uh, and uh, but he said this is live on facebook you are on live on facebook and uh, and then she said next up will be this and this station and if there's police listening please be there <laughs> you know so, something like that and he he completely <laughs> froze and oh he didn't uh, calculate on that. And there was others that started to, to film him. So, yeah, he was um, taken by the police <laughs> by the next station, I think. And so, so it kind of ended good. And But the, the it gave me a reaction uh, because the feeling of the... Before it was uh, ended good, uh, this I, I could kind of feel how powerless she must feel and scared and that really triggered me with the, the thing that happened with my husband and the, the evening where I I bumped into the guy and the woman uh, how scared I, I was and how scared I was because I didn't know what could happen and I was kind of feeling helpless and even though nothing happened but it's just a thought of something could happen and knowing how in maniac he was you know so uh, and that all just came up when i saw that scene so i said to my husband we, we, i i cannot watch this movie uh, I, I cannot uh, i had to take a pill and stuff really and it's i can't remember when i when i last time felt such a reaction sort of strong reaction and i was so filled up with anxiety and oh man it was really horrible so um <clears throat> i took a pill and my husband said what can i do i need to get that hair away uh, Am I? am I only doing half stitching so all of a sudden? I think so. So I said, yeah, can can we find something, you know, not dangerous to watch? Uh, so we ended up finding uh, some nature movie with um, underwater. Very, very calming. Very, very nice. <laughs> and we both like those kind of... Um, documentary so that was uh, fine and slowly i started to feel better and actually the next day i felt i was sure that okay i cannot 
get to a crafting group the next day, I will be tired the whole day and I will feel miserable and stuff. But actually, when I woke up, it was just, hmm, I'm fine. <laughs> I feel fine. Let's go. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to crafting group, but I'm still vulnerable, kind of. Um, I totally got a stress attack last night because my husband was, uh, <laughs> he was trying to put up some curtains and there was some kind of, um, I don't know what to call it, up and down curtain. Very, very difficult to kind of uh, get to um, place correctly. And he was, <laughs> there were some screws, screws, yeah. very small one. He kind of dropped them all the time. And he had to get the, had the window open at some point. And um, <laughs> he dropped them out of the window twice. And right outside our window, there's a lot of mud. So imagine how hard it is to find small screws in the mud. So he was so furious. And I could just feel my inner stress level just rise because I could hear him kind of constantly shouting and oh shit and <laughs> the noises he made and I couldn't help it I, I tried to say shit should I, I said, can I can I do something can I help you with anything I was just no nope, no room for more <laughs> people yeah so okay so I started to cook dinner and um, try to uh, yeah <laughs> take my mind off it but I could feel then that uh, it's really I cannot take much these days. I, I easily get stressed, very easily get stressed. But I feel like I easily get uh, get it to pass again. So um, that's very good. And I feel like I have been better. I have becoming better. That's not right. I am getting better at calming myself and doing what it has, what um, what I need to do. Uh, to, uh, to to get it to pass. So um, I'm actually really, really hopeful and really proud about that. Um, yeah, hopeful. Yes, I am um, kind of hopeful. Because that can also be a feeling of powerless, a powerless feeling that you cannot control your own body. So maybe I still can control it, but I know I have some things I can do to kind of get uh, better quick. So yay for that. Very happy. My husband had an accident uh, yesterday and he reacted hard. He, he never reacted like that, but he just broke down completely. It was because he is um, he was driving um, handicapped um, adults yesterday, and there was a guy, a man, older man. He is uh, both uh, physical and mentally handicapped. He sits in a wheelchair. It is electric wheelchair, and he is a notorious uh, known for um, driving extremely aggressive with that wheelchair so my husband was uh, um, yeah, arranging uh, his next stop was uh, there they, uh, well, the bus was parked he was getting the um, some uh, what's it called I don't know lift I don't know what's it called down uh, no up so that the, the man could back out with his wheelchair but <laughs> the man backed out before the thing was up all up so my husband just barely got out of the way uh, and and the man just landed with uh, yeah with his wheelchair and everything on the on the ground <laughs> because he just banged up so so fast <laughs> there was no time for my husband to do anything about it he just barely got out of the way if he hadn't got out of the way he has had the, the man and his wheelchair on top of him so phew and he was so shocked afterwards so he really yeah kind of broke down completely 
but um, he's better now and I think maybe that's just it just all came up like that so sometimes it just takes a, a completely different kind of a incident to uh, bring all the bad stuff up and uh, yeah I think it's the body's way of like you need to unload <laughs> all the things that are troubling you so that it'll take care of <laughs> and it feels much better and lighter somehow and that's the same feeling I got after that uh, stupid train scene afterwards I felt lighter it's like finally I have been uh, I got rid of the a lot of that nervousness anxiety and good 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 so what did I say yeah yeah, I have written, I have quickly re recovered. And I think that's the both of us. We kind of recovered from the things. So that's good. Just have to move on now. And I'm feeling much better. So good. Yeah, I, <laughs> yesterday my husband came home with a back neck massage device. It's some automatic thing. Um... I'm stitching it. Don't know what happened there. Tangled up. Just a minute. Just a minute. Oh man. Really tangled up. It's a Boyer Bura. Boyer. The brand. And it's um It gives you massage in the back. You could, you could use it for all parts of the body, uh, your back, your neck, your lower back, and kind of have it around you. And then you uh, there's some pockets for your hands. So your hands is kind of the weight. And uh, then there's some big, I don't know what's some, it feels like small um, balls. <laughs> Just massaging your neck. I tell you, it's amazing. It's amazing. And you can um, you can set the, how how uh, how strong you want it to be. It's it's like feeling of very strong fingers. Um, so so you get a, a neck massage <laughs> with very strong fingers. And you, you can also choose to have it not that strong. And you can reduce the speed. What is happening here? And there's uh, heat also, so you can uh, get warm on your neck. I tell you, it's so wonderful. We also have a eye massage thing. It sounds weird, but it really helps with headache. So my husband suffers, uh, in, sometimes he suffers with um, migraine, migraine. And um, I, I don't know if you could say it helps long term but it just gives you a release uh, just for you know 15 minutes or something and that's very 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 nice when you um, have a strong headache to just get a little bit of release if not just for 15 minutes or half an hour or something but he says that um, it actually help a little bit afterwards also so that's good the migraine is a horrible thing to suffer from. I haven't, I don't have headaches like that. The, 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 my headaches is usually f uh, from the neck. So, and that's why we got that uh, massage thing to the neck also. So, hope you can. Uh, make sure, sure that I don't get that much headache anymore it's so nice to get the massage though <laughs> so I'm kind of never mind if it helps the head or not <laughs> I just love the massage <laughs> 
So the weather here is uh, quite um, windy and cold today. We actually turned down our heating system the other day because the, the weather seemed to have changed into something a little bit warmer. So kind of turned it down and yesterday I froze. Oh man, I, I had a, a sweater on and everything and I I froze my feet and uh, so we have turned it up again. <laughs> Apparently it's not uh, summer yet. <laughs> It's not summer yet. It's barely spring. The birds and the flowers think it's spring, but I don't know. It's quite cold and windy. So I'm still in my winter jacket and winter you know, hats and mittens and stuff. Gloves or whatever it's called. not like Spain, south of Spain, they have such nice weather. So I think uh, I can see my phone. I think I'm way too high. Sorry. As I said in the beginning, I, um, I cannot see on my screen as I usually can. So. Maybe my phone just needs to be restarted. Sometimes I just need to have a restart my phone. I did try to restart my, t my TV, but uh, it did make a difference. So. Probably my phone. Probably, probably. My husband must. No, not my husband. My dog is snoring. So he's really sleeping. He loves to um, to come with me in my craft room here, and he has some a little bed here, um, dog bed, and he always brings a, a fluffy toy. <laughs> And he sleeps with the fluffy toy. It's like a pillow for him. So, and when he hear me talking, he just falls asleep. Falls asleep. So I think it's calming. So Sunday when I got that uh, meltdown, he kind of. Um, He's a very sensitive dog. I, I remember uh, it's when, the, when he was one year and two year, yeah, so there was we didn't feel and uh, we didn't notice that. So I don't know if it's something he had developed as an adult, um, but he's very sensitive. He can feel if we uh, if we are sick or feeling bad or something. He kind of sometimes he um, <laughs> he jumps into the next to me and places his uh, paw on my thigh, and he just looks me straight in the eye. It's like, "Mom, mom, are you all right?" <laughs> He's so cute, and he don't want to leave my side when I feel like that. So he just stays with me. I don't think my cats ever did that. And I never had a dog that did that. <laughs> never. So my fingers are seriously cramping up. So <laughs> I need to stop now. So. But yeah, I hope... You could see something. I don't know if I was all over the place, but um, yeah, I got a little bee eaters started. So I think it's a beak. No, 
No, the the, um, the blue one is around the beak. The this one is yeah, it's also just the background. I think it's kind of two colors. Yeah, the white has no symbol. Maybe it's just not meant for stitching. I think it's not meant to be stitched. So, and yeah. The other beak is up here. I can see that. Well, yeah. But um, I think that's it for me today. That will be a flush tube, I think, at the end of this week. I have some more to show you. <laughs> so, uh, and maybe a stitch with me more. Let's see. Let's see. But uh, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful week and a wonderful day. And I um, hope you like the video. And yeah, take care and happy stitching. Speak to you in the next one. Bye bye.